Hey everybody, today I'm going to be telling you about how I do my art, all the arts I kind of do, and I'll be showing you how you can do it yourself. So, let's get to it. Hey guys, let me tell you about all the kinds of art I do. I draw, I paint, I take photos, I do pretty much any art you can find. I even deal with computer art, whether it be coding, um, 3D design, graphic design, anything like that. You name it, I'd probably do it. Now let's talk about what I use to draw. I use this hardbound sketchbook. It's really nice, it's really thick paper, picks up colors and paints really well picks up inks really well as well. It overall just does a really good job at doing what I need it to do. Now, what I use to draw, where's my pencil? Oh, okay. I use this to draw. It's a Graph Gear 500, it's by Pentel. It's uh, 0 0.7 millimeter. It does really awesome. I like the weighted metal tip to it. Now these are my pens I use, they're by Pigma. I use anything from a 0.2 millimeter all the way up to a 0.8 millimeter when I need it. When I paint with my sketchbook, I usually use these watercolor dual tip markers by Artist Loft. They work really well because they have really smooth writing. Let me show you. They have the brush tip which writes extremely smoothly. It comes with the the brush point, I can talk I promise, the brush point and the fine point. I just really enjoy these markers, they blend really nicely. Now I'll show you some of the pictures I've painted with those markers. I painted those, obviously, and I'm really proud of them, but it becomes a different story when I try to paint on canvas. When I paint on canvas, I use Reese, Revis paint, and it's acrylic paint, and I use stretched canvas, always varying in size, and yeah. what it looks like. For photography, sometimes I use a DSLR camera, other times I decide to just use my phone because it's more convenient and it's always on me. So when it comes to photography and videography, it kind of becomes mixed between a DSLR and my phone. For my digital art, when it comes to editing photos, coding. Some people don't consider software programming an art, but it's kind of an opinion. I usually just use my Chromebook. It's a really nice Chromebook. It's the Samsung Chromebook Plus. I have a review of it up on my blog. I'll leave a link to it down in the description. I usually use my Chromebook or my desktop when I'm at home. They both do me really well. So everybody, I hope you enjoyed the video. The music in this video is done by a good friend of mine. His name is Mason Bingham. I'll definitely leave his link in, down in the description for his SoundCloud. Please go check him out. He's doing amazing stuff over there. Leaving, making amazing music. Go check him out. For real. Now, I hope you consider giving this a like and a subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Sunshine.